How to use your iPod as a hard drive for Mac computers. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. Your iPod can be used as a portable hard drive as well as a media player. This allows you to transfer and store any type of file from text documents to video files. Step 1. You will need an iPod, an iPod USB cable and a computer. Step 2. Getting started. If you haven't already set up your iPod and installed iTunes, refer to VideoJug how to get started with your iPod for a detailed instruction. Step 3. Connect. Plug the smaller end of the cable, which is the USB connector, into the USB port on your computer. This is often found at the back of the computer and can be identified by the USB logo. Plug the other end of the cable, which is called the dock connector, into the base of your iPod. A do not disconnect message will show up on your iPod screen. Step 4. Enable disk use. Open up iTunes and click on your iPod in the library list on the left hand side. The main display will change to your iPod summary. In the options field, check enable disk use. If you have decided to manually manage your songs, your iPod will automatically be enabled for disk use. Step 5. Moving files. Your iPod will now work as an external hard drive and an iPod icon will appear on your desktop. To copy files onto your iPod, simply drag them onto the iPod icon. Step 6. Disconnect. When you are ready to take your iPod with you, you have to eject it safely so that no files get corrupted. Simply drag the iPod icon on your desktop into your trash can. If your iPod is still in use by iTunes, you will have to eject it in the program. Go to the library list and click on the eject symbol next to your iPod icon. Wait for the screen on your iPod to go blank and then disconnect. Done. Watch our other iPod video jugs for more ways to use your iPod.